Hi, and welcome to Contact Monkey Academy. Today's topic is pulse surveys. So these surveys are going to enable you to collect feedback and keep your recipients engaged directly within your newsletter. So let me jump in. Right now you're looking at a blank template. Uh, I'm just gonna go into my content tab and pull in a text box. I'm gonna drag it and drop it in my empty row. And I'm just going to place my question there. I've pre-typed one in there before. So the next step is to add a new row. And instead of adding in an empty row, we're going to click the drop down menu and we're going to select emoji reactions. So this is where we'll be able to find the different designs. So we have a star rating, we have emojis, thumbs up, thumbs down, yes and no. Take your pick, choose whichever one you like. I'm gonna go with the star rating for today. So I'm gonna drag that and drop it directly below the question. And now that it's dropped, you'll notice that when I hover over my question, it's in its own row. And I, when I hover over my stars, they're also in their own row. So what we need to do here is we need to join them so that they belong to the same row so that when a recipient clicks on one of their ratings, they'll be taken to a landing page where they can then complete their choice. So if we don't join these two together, um, the landing page will be broken and they won't be able to actually leave a response. So this is an important step. We're going to click on the stars and then you'll see a little crosshatch button pop up. I'm just going to hold that down and then drag it up slowly until we see a blue box surrounding the question. I can drop it there and then hovering to the right, you'll see that now they're belonging to the same row. So this I just need to delete really quickly. Um, now, another thing we can do is we can add comments. So right now my comments are toggled on, which means that any recipient can also add a comment when they're taken to that landing page. This can be related to the newsletter or it might be unrelated, but it's a really great way to capture any additional feedback you can get from your recipients. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to save and exit. And I'm just gonna show you how you can view this feedback in your campaigns page. So let's head in to the campaigns tab. Okay, so I'll click into this for an example. Now scrolling all the way down, we'll notice that at the very bottom of the page, we have our emoji reaction results. So if I were to send out the survey um, asking, how would you rate the last town hall? These are some examples of how this could look. So we have our average score, we have our response rate, and we have our comments. So the comments we can view just by clicking this blue button here, and we'll be able to see exactly what feedback we've gotten. Now, keep in mind, this is completely anonymous. We won't be able to see who left the comments or the ratings. Um, so this is a great way to encourage people to actually be honest. So I hope this was really helpful today um, and have fun using pulse surveys.